In this video, we'll practice simplifying complex rational expressions. These complex expressions can come in a couple different flavors. This is an example where we have fractions within fractions. The way that we deal with this is we want to multiply the top and bottom of this fraction by something so that when we simplify it, the little fractions inside our big fraction will go away. So what do we want to multiply the top and bottom by to get rid of those little fractions? Well, when we multiply a fraction by its denominator, the denominator will divide out with what we multiplied by. So in this case, we want to multiply top and bottom by x, because when we do that, these two x's will divide out. That's our strategy here. Now, of course, whatever we multiply by on the top, we have to multiply by the same thing on the bottom. So let's try to see what this works out to be. The other thing to keep in mind here is that we have to distribute and multiply everything on the top by that x and everything on the bottom by that x. So on the top, when we distribute the x multiplied by both of the things on the top, x times 1, that just gives us x, and then x times 1 over x, those two x's divide out, and we just get plus 1. On the bottom, once again we distribute x times 1 and x times minus 1 over x. When we multiply x times 1, we just get x. And when we multiply x times minus 1 over x, these two x's divide out, and we just get minus 1. And that's much simpler than what we started with. Another type of complex rational expression simply has a lot going on on the top and the bottom. So in order to simplify this fraction, all we have to do is perform the operations that we see on the top and on the bottom. So on the top, we've just got some distributing to do. So we've got 4x plus 1 times 5, so we're going to distribute the 5 times both of the things in the parentheses. 5 times 4x is 20x, and 5 times 1 is 5. Similarly, we want to distribute the 4 that's being multiplied by 5x minus 2. 4 times 5x is 20x, and 4 times 2 is 8. Notice that I kept the minus sign and the parentheses, because all I'm doing here is the multiplication. Remember our order of operations. Multiplication happens before subtraction, so I'm not doing the subtraction quite yet. On the bottom I have 5x minus 2 squared, and we could argue about whether we should multiply that out or leave it factored, but since the problem just says simplify and isn't more specific than that, let's just go ahead and leave it factored. So what do we have on the top? Well, when we distribute our minus sign, we have 20x plus 5, minus 20x, and then minus minus 8 gives us plus 8. And on the bottom, we still have 5x minus 2 quantity squared. This 20x and the minus 20x cancel, and we get 5 plus 8, which is 13, all divided by 5x minus 2 squared. And we're done.